Nearly nine months since a woman was hit by a ball while sitting in the stands at a tin caps game. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell met up with that woman to get her take on the new safety precautions now in place for next season. And she joins us live from Parkview Field with more. When Jennifer Myers went to a tin caps game here at Parkview Field last summer, she had no idea it would change her life in just a split second. A ball hit into the stands severely injured her face. And now she's weighing in on new safety precautions going up at the stadium. And I saw it when maybe three feet from me. And then uh, it hit me directly in the mouth. In a matter of seconds, it went from a nice family outing to a trip to the hospital. It's five surgeries. I had to have titanium plates put in my face and quite a few screws and gum grafting and it's, it's been a long road. With more than $50,000 in debt following the numerous surgeries, Jennifer Myers isn't done yet. She says doctors tell her it could be another four months before she's done with treatments. It's been a long, painful road for the Myers. And with new safety nets being put up this week at Parkview Field, she hopes it won't happen to someone else. I'm glad that they put it up because if, God forbid, it had been my son that was sitting next to me or the little kid that was sitting in front of me, I mean, they could have had brain damage or spinal damage. Myers was sitting in an area that will now be protected by the extended safety nets that will reach to the end of each dugout. It was a traumatic experience. One hopefully no one else has to go through thanks to the safety nets. The memory of that will never leave me. Meyer says while the safety nets are a step in the right direction, she would like to see more done. She says she'd like to see better training for people who respond to injuries like hers when they receive them at games. We did speak to Tin Caps President Mike Nutter, who says he stands by how the situation was handled and by those first responders. Live at Parkview Field, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.